And welcome back to this week's episode of Gabe's Cave. This is your weekly Meet the Artist, and boy, do I got a treat for you guys. But before we can do any of that, let's take just a minute and thank our sponsor, RPGHiring.com. Thank you, RPGHiring.com. None of this would be possible without you guys, and we know y'all are out there building people, changing lives. If you guys are looking for a new career, definitely check them out. They're making a lot of people successful. So let's welcome this artist, Mr. Ryan Finley. Hey, how's it going? What's going on, brother? Did I say that last name right? Yep, Finley. That's right. (laughs) All right. It was either that or finally. (laughs) <laughs> i've got that before but <laughs> i imagine so well look man we've got an amazing smorgasbord of cards here and uh this is another artist uh, here lately that has sent back all 15 of them so you know what that means guys that the ones that don't get picked out of the 10 on the show they will go into loot boxes so you still have an opportunity to win those so don't feel like that those are just going to be left out those are going to pop into random winners along the way so let's jump in right here up at the top here we've got young groot uh tell us about this car why did you choose to do Groot uh I knew that the third movie was about to come out when we started working on these and I've always liked Groot uh he's always fun to draw um I also draw him with my students quite often it's a fun character for uh anybody that's starting out to like my younger students because there's no nose or ears involved just a mouth and some eyes but uh really because of the movie I was pretty excited to see it well you say your students and for people that didn't see your first interview what is it that you teach uh, I teach cartooning and comics and cards at uh, the Beck Center. Um, it's uh, pretty much an all art school. There's music and um, pottery and all that, but I do all the visual art stuff. Awesome, awesome. Well, that, well that's that's amazing. And what state is that in? Uh, Ohio. Ohio. So Ohio does exist. Yeah, it does. <laughs> okay. Well, next. Well, it all, man. <laughs> <laughs> Next up, we here we have the Demi Gorgon with its mouth open. If you can call it a mouth, uh, <laughs> so why the Demi Gorgon? Let's talk about that. Um, Demi Gorgon came because uh, my daughter uh, around that time we had just shown her Stranger Things for the first time, and uh, we also wanted to do a team up. Uh, we do a lot of team up drawings. We recently had a art show. Um, less less than a year ago at my work where uh, we do a lot of combination drawings like right over here on my shoulder on this side okay uh, you got ray and han and like egon and uh phoebe back there but um she did the uh, card next to it as you can see is uh uh gosh I, I 11 say about her name 11 yeah, <laughs> yeah 11 so your daughter did this yeah so we've got cards up here from you and your daughter yeah there's oh. two two of, of, of her so does it come does it say her name on the back it does yeah kira finley yeah okay awesome yeah i see <laughs> awesome <laughs> well that's fantastic brother well yeah well let's just go right into that one and go ahead and tell us 11 so tell us a little bit about your daughter and, and about the art and and let us know something uh yeah she's been pretty much sitting next to me her whole life drawing and uh when she saw that i was doing the gabe's cave uh cards for the round, the round before this she actually sent in some cards for that one as well and so when i did this one she was like can i do some more i'm like absolutely i mean they we said they love the last one so why not do it again and uh we wanted to do this time more of a combo piece where the cards combo uh the cards kind of like complemented each other so awesome awesome well then we'll move right on to her next card right here and this is the doc from back to the future isn't it yep and this yeah, is- so we, we recently had a show we went to a show and uh he was there so uh, it was pretty cool to see Christopher Lloyd there, and she she wanted to do a, a doc piece. So, well, she she did an amazing job. <laughs> Thank you. Um, so you guys out there now now you know you can maybe get some of her first cards out here. Uh, not that she hasn't been doing them already, but here next we have um, Leonardo, the leader from the Turtles, and uh, tell us about uh, Leo here and why you chose to do Leo not my favorite turtle but uh i decided to do another turtle because i did a turtle the last round so i thought it'd be kind of cool for whoever maybe got that card or if somebody saw it to try and grab another turtle and uh i'm actually lo- really looking forward to the new movie coming out where uh they actually have kids voicing over the first time are you though 
not as much as that. That's my turtles right there, where they were actually in the costume and stuff. Yeah. But uh, yeah, this new one I think is pretty cool. That the fact that they're steering away from Shredder, they're finally giving something new to like you know they got all mutants or the bad guys. So I don't know. My my daughter's excited. So far, the best turtles since that one right there, if you ask me, was the Nickelodeon one back in like 2011 or 12. I really liked that one. So. Well, fantastic. We'd be looking forward to it. Yeah, and uh, which which is your favorite turtle? Uh, I always like Donnie, but honestly, Mikey, like they're both kind of up there. I'm I'm definitely not like Donnie. I'm not I'm not the gadget smart one. I'm more Mikey. So it was always a toss between Donnie and Mikey. When I was a when I was a kid, um, Mikey was probably my favorite. But the older the older I get, Raphael's probably. It's probably yeah. where where I line up most with. Um, <laughs> next here we have, and dude, this was such a, a great a great show. Uh, probably not kid appropriate, not for everybody, but such a great show. But uh, Peacemaker here. Yeah, uh, I chose that just because I absolutely love the show. I thought it was great and absolutely definitely not a kid show, but uh, um, definitely worth a watch. Um, I think John Cena proved he uh, can really do some acting. It was pretty impressive. Did you do you know how to do the whole dance in the opening? Do you really, do you really want to taste it? <laughs> it's funny. I started just the beginning of it. One time, my wife was like, "No." I'm like, "Yeah, I'm not gonna learn the whole thing. I was just messing around." So <laughs> <laughs> next year, we've got a little wax on, wax off from Karate Kid. Um, just a fantastic card, dude. Why why did you choose to do this? Um, we were watching Cobra Kai and ended up going back and showing my daughter's already seen him a couple of years ago, but we watched all the movies again. And, uh, I mean, who doesn't like Miyagi? I just, I really, he's the best character in all those. And still kind of crazy even to think that he was not, people were kind of upset when he was cast. I mean, he, I can't think of anybody else being that character, but no. I get it. He was, he was more comedy at the time, but. Well, he, he did a, a great job. That's how, how I, that's who I, when I think of him, that's what I think of. You know what I mean? That's the role that I think of. Yeah. Um, next we're going to have immediately, this is going to be, um, Misty's favorite card in the, in the set. And that's going to be the pred. So, you know, not that the predator needs any, you know, reason of why to do a predator card, but is there any reason in particular on why you chose predator? Uh, it is my favorite Arnold movie. Um, and whenever I do have a chance to play video games and I'm playing some Fortnite, usually with my daughter or some friends, I am Predator. <laughs> so I don't know. I, I've always loved the Predator. I love that design. Um, I'm also Predator 1 is by far the best uh, like movie out of that franchise. It's my favorite Arnold movie. But um, I kind of like Predators. That wasn't a bad movie either. The one where they went to the Predator's planet. I know some people didn't like it, but. Oh, no, I thought it was pretty good. Yeah, I like that one. I also play Fortnite. Cool, nice. We uh, might have, I, we, I, we might have to link up one of these days. Absolutely, I love it. It's uh, that's like the one game my I got. I started playing it because my daughter was playing it all the time, and now it's usually uh, early Sunday mornings. We OG game me and my buddies who we don't do a lot of building. We just do a lot of shooting and fight. So, well, you know they've they've got the no build mode now. Yeah. So that I I immediately went to wrecking people in that when 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 people couldn't build structures to get away from me anymore, then that's when all of my years of uh com, you know competitive playing shooters it got to I got to really show off then. But yeah, uh, playing with my kids is why I started playing Fortnite as well. Is actually my stepson. He'd be bored. None of his friends would be able to play or whatever, and he'd be like, "Play Fortnite with me. Play Fortnite with me." And it just got to where, yeah. Now, so now I, I enjoy it. I played it so much that I'm stuck with it now, and they're constantly making that game better. So that's what that's what's up. Um, it's a fun game, it really is. Moving on to the cards, still here we have uh, Batman, who is, uh, you know, once again, kind of like the Predator. There's no there's no excuse needed to do a Batman card. It's kind of like if you don't like Batman, then forget you, dude. You know. Absolutely. So why ba uh, why Batman? Yeah, Batman. I I have multiple Batman tattoos. He's by far to me the best that there is. Um, last set I did uh, Keaton, which is my Batman. I mean, I am so excited to finally see him back. I'm I'm so pumped for next week. But uh, um, that one right there, I never thought I would say another Batman could be as good as. Although I liked Ben Affleck, he looked like uh, the animated series Batman come to life. Um, I really, Robert Pattinson was very impressive. I, I thought that was a very great movie. 
And I, I wasn't in, I wasn't excited about him being Batman, but after seeing the movie, I was like, okay, yeah. all right, yeah, he did a, he did a good job. Yep. Um, yeah, I was the same way. I'm like, really, the Twilight guy, but all right, let's try it out. Right? So yeah, the did... Twilight guy. <laughs> <laughs> maybe this will. Maybe now he'll be something else besides the Twilight guy. Maybe now he can be <laughs> I'm Batman. Um, yeah. Next up, we have Iron Man here. Uh, what I mean, what else to say? Yeah. It's Iron Man. It's you know, Marvel's Marvel's rich uh, superhero with gadgets. So why why Iron Man, brother? Uh, just kind of honestly, just kind of trying to mix it up with DC and Marvel. There went with uh, Marvels, I guess. If you had to say closest thing to DC, he's a rich billionaire guy who doesn't have any superpowers. You know, he's not as cool as Batman, but I mean. He is a rich billionaire guy and spends his money to have all the cool gadgets. So I guess Marvel's Batman in a way. <laughs> and here we've got one of my favorite characters across pop culture, and that is Judge Dredd. Yeah. Uh, just, I mean, come on, it's Dredd. I, I still can't believe we haven't got a sequel to that movie. What is going on? I mean, Carl Urban was fantastic. Yeah, he was, dude. Yeah, he was. It's fan, fantastic Dredd. Um, Thank you, man. Yeah. It's fun. Next year, uh, is this also a uh, is that also one of the Stranger Things kids here? That's uh, Marty from Back to the Future. Oh, okay, yeah. You know that, that also looks like the, but he doesn't have curly hair. That's the only thing with the red jacket or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Back to the Future, Marty. Yeah, young Marty. Yeah, I did that one to match with my daughter's doc. So like a combo there. Okay, so this is your match to match hers. And this is we're gonna move this up here so the next time the camera flashes to it, they will see them sticking together. Yeah, we we did those because we were pretty pumped about going to a show where we knew Christopher Lloyd was there, and um, we're just huge fans of Back to the Future. We were building the DeLorean around that time, the Lego DeLorean. So, well, fantastic card, brother. Thank you. Next up down here, look, I had this I had this movie on the tip of my tongue a while ago, and then I <laughs> I, I had a brain fart. Um, Caddyshack. Caddyshack with the with the dadgum gopher. Yeah, uh, Carl Speck. I, I love that. I Bill anything Bill Murray. He's uh, probably my favorite actor. Him and Harrison Ford. But um, yeah, anything Bill Murray. And um, I saw that movie at an age I probably shouldn't have. But man, Caddyshack is funny. So uh, yeah, that's my favorite. In that movie <laughs> and i think people will enjoy that card it'll probably be one of the first ones to go out of these uh, i don't imagine this will pop up in a loot box um next up is this uh from ghostbusters here yeah yep that's okay. uh Egon. yeah I, I, I knew the actor but i wasn't sure if that was uh from ghostbusters or another movie so what made you want to choose to do this um harold ramus uh probably the first actor who unfortunately when he passed away i really was like upset but um i was just i think i had ghostbusters on at that time and he's always fun to draw as you can see i think right over that shoulder right there i drew him right there too so he's he's a fun character to draw it's my daughter's favorite ghostbuster um and that that scene uh twinkies are probably one of my favorite little snacks every once in a while so when he's talking about the giant twinkie that's a great scene all right and here up next we've got probably marty's favorite um marvel superhero and that is moon knight He's also uh, he's also one that you could kind of compare to Batman a little. For sure, absolutely. Uh, yeah, that, he might be, I guess, more of Marvel's Batman in a way, but he has powers, so I don't know. But that's um, by far my favorite Marvel uh, show they did, and I think uh, Oscar Isaac he he really killed it. So um, that was my first time actually drawing Moon Knight, so it was it was a fun fun time. <laughs> I would I would probably agree with that. I would probably say that Moon Knight out of the out of the Marvel shows that they did i'd probably say that would probably be my favorite too i could probably agree with that sentiment yeah um also i was i was a fan of how they did wandavision with the with with the the cinematic part of that next we have everybody's favorite harrison ford character (laughs) uh i mean who doesn't like to see that i'm excited uh june is like the month of movies Um, yeah it is (laughs) <laughs> to see uh batman back and to see harrison ford back i feel like i'm a kid again and uh um yeah i just did it because that's my that's my favorite uh han solo is my favorite indiana jones is right along with him so to uh 
just trying to honor that, I guess. And at the same time, it, my uh, brain was thinking of the movie coming up. So, yeah, like two weeks ago, I think our episode was on uh, movies and video games that are coming out summer of 2023. And yeah. our, our goal was to do like five, find five or six cool ones because we thought we were going to have a struggle. We ended up doing like 15 of each, like 15 movies and 15 video games. Uh, so, yeah, there's definitely some cool stuff coming out. Uh, also, uh, Gremlins is is making a comeback. So let's talk about this card, man. You, you, you really did a good job on this too. So let's talk about this. What made you want to do that? Um, I did that one because uh, last said I did gizmo. Okay. Uh, so I was trying to, again, do another one where if somebody got that card or whatever, they might want to try and grab that one too. Or, um, again, like you just said, it's coming back big time. My, my wife and daughter and I are watching that show on HBO, the, uh, secrets of the Mogwai. Um, I've always been a fan, so any any way I can get some more Gremlins, I'll take it. I prefer a movie, but hey, whatever. Are do, are you liking that show? Uh, it's not bad. Uh, I think we're on episode four. It's not uh, it's not as bad. I was reading some reviews. Some people are a little upset, but I mean, it's pretty dark for a kid show, <laughs> but it's still good. I didn't see I, that's new to me. I didn't know that they <laughs> that they intentionally geared it towards making it a kid show. How, how could you make a Gremlins? kid show like that didn't even seem possible like that's the thing like i don't think people are actually giving it a shot from when like when i'm reading people are like oh it just looks kitty and this and that i mean the first episode um i mean it it, it goes dark right away a guy gets like swallowed like his soul and stuff it's just pretty dark i'm like this is not really for little kids so but i mean gremlins really wasn't if you really no absolutely not it wasn't no so um brother do you let's talk about anything you got coming up here soon do you have any kind of cons or any kind of appearances that you're going to be out so if people are watching this and they want to try to meet you in person and um oof. unfortunately right now not a lot of cons i have uh i'll be doing the lakewood arts festival here in cleveland um the next con i might be doing will be cincinnati comic con in september okay um and then of course uh next year i'll be back at the fan expo here in cleveland um okay. I'd like to do more shows, just it's a little bit hard with my teaching schedule and all that kind of stuff. But um, those are the two that I'll definitely be at. And of course, uh, like I said, the Liquid Arts Festival. So, Well, fantastic. Brother, do you got time to hang out for two more minutes and let me tell all the people some stuff that we got going on? And Yeah, for I'll, sure. And then, and then I'll let you give away the cards from uh, last week. All right, cool. All right. Uh, so, guys, I got to tell you about the Oklahoma City Horror Con that is August 5th and the 6th, and the Cowtown Comic Con is September 30th through October 1st. That'll be in Dallas, Texas. If you guys want to meet us finally in person, we will be there. So we're not just telling you about those cons because we want you to go because we'll actually be there. Also, every Thursday night, uh, we have a live auction on Gabe's Cave Comics Cards and Collectibles. It's called Gabe's Cave After Dark, where I sell comic books auction style, and a lot of them start at a dollar. All right, Ryan. What I All need right. you to do for me, brother, I need you to take two fingers like you're hitting like the space bar and the enter button. And what we're doing is we're hitting enter on this giveaway, and you're going to send them to the giveaway. Anytime right. you get ready. Congratulations, Cable Maniacs, you lucky 10 winners, and you dirty, dirty dog down there at the bottom. You get that loot box, so you know what that means. You're going to get a card anyway. You just won't get to pick which one it is. I'll get to pick it for you. So, yeah, brother, you got anything you want to say to the people before we go? Uh, thanks for having me. It was a great time. Uh, just like last time, I enjoyed uh, talking with you. Yeah, man. Well, thank you very much for doing these cards, dude. And I can't wait to see you again. Maybe we'll get to see each other in person or maybe play some Fortnite. Yeah, for sure. All right, brother. Well, if you see a uh, firm request from a Captain Planet uh, profile picture, that's me. 
All right, cool. All right, brother. Take it easy. All right, take care, man.